Seven years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking upon together. I remember when you first started talking and dating, and I remember realizing very quickly that there was something different about you. I never would have believed that 19-year-old boy would grow into the strong, hardworking, faithful, and loving man that will be waiting for me at the altar. You challenge me, listen to me, and make me be a better person each and every day. I never dreamed that I would find someone who challenged me to see the world in the way that you do. A man who makes me laugh and love. A man who even after years together still gives me butterflies when, when he walks through the door. And I see And I see us walking hand in hand, living all the plans we've made. And we know there ain't no looking back. It might be hard, but we know love will make it up for us. There's really only one word to describe my emotions as I write this letter, and that is happy. Today is the happiest day of my life because I get to have you as my best friend. Caitlin and Elizabeth, the church shares your joy and warm welcomes you together with your family and friends as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a life of our children. And as we think of a couple coming together as one, we think in a worldly way there was the time when we think about that, but there are many ways that a couple comes together as one. Right here today, these two families, in many ways, are now joined as one. They're intertwined together because of the relationship between Caleb and Elizabeth. They are now coming together in a relationship in a special way. They, in many ways, have become one. Elizabeth, living away from here and away from Caleb for a while, they remain strong because of their love for each other and the strength of God. They were able to deal with that time separated. And in the end, in many ways, I think it has made them stronger. The most important way I think that they come together as one is through their faith, through their Catholic and Christian faith. They now share together their gifts of sacraments and prayer and other ways. And today, we ask God's prayers that they would lie down in the present and at the end of their life that the city gates will be open for Elizabeth, Caleb, and that their love will not end, will not fail. But as the second reading tells us, it will endure forever. I, Caleb, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, 
in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Elizabeth, take you, Caleb, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd, but their hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost, we need. I'll push you back towards the land and sea. They're going down for love, and love is free. Stick with me, and I will guarantee. You're never lost among the crowd with me. As a father, this is not an easy day, and but it sure does make it easy when um, you love the family that she's marrying into. I know you two love each other dearly. You're going to make an incredible couple. Um, God willing, you're going to be incredible parents, and we couldn't be any more proud. Elizabeth, a father holds his daughter's hand um, for a very short time. However, he holds her heart for it. Elizabeth and Caleb have undoubtedly gone through a lot of changes in their lifetime. Be it the university they're studying at, jobs that they have, the town that they live in. But the one thing that has stayed the same has been that they wake up every day choosing each other. And they choose to love each other. He's 
made himself into a great brother and uh, he's going to be a great husband, I guess. Uh, Elizabeth, good luck. No denies about Caleb and Elizabeth. Elizabeth, by now you know how competitive Caleb is. And uh, I think we can uh, all agree that tonight Caleb definitely won. So with that, let's all raise a toast. To the new Mr. and Mrs. Bagley. May your news adventure be full of love and led by faith. I love you guys. Things aren't going my way Cause that would be boring Spent my last cent on cheese and champagne What a wonderful morning Never mind she declined to the first date It was only on my birthday